Today I'm going to show you a project that we did for a client last year. We're in the mountains of West Virginia and you can see my sidekicks in the truck staying warm, still supervising the situation. We're out in a rather remote location, no utility power available in the mountains, beautiful day, little snow, about 15 degrees. We put in a thousand gallon propane tank to power this 48 kW generator. Some people might think the 48 kW is a little large, but in this case, it was selected to provide the owner the opportunity to expand, have more power, do what he might need to do in the future without spending money to upgrade later. The cost of the utility was well into six figures because the closest line is nearly a mile away. The generator has a standard starting battery within the cabinet, but we added two 8D full-size batteries increasing the storage capability about 400%. Most generators are connected to utility power, which give 120 volts for the battery charger and the block heater. Since we do not have utility power here, we installed a solar cell that is controlled by a standard solar controller, which powers this 1500 watt inverter which we then have the generator controller wired into so it's always operational. As you can see, it's keeping its date and time. All the parameters are set. It's in auto, ready to go. The engine block heater, which is a thousand watt block heater, is connected via standard receptacle to the inverter. In addition, we added an exterior timer, which starts this generator up every day at midnight to make sure that the batteries are fully charged, fluids are moving, everything's ready to go. If you have rain for a couple of days, snow, overcast, the solar cell may be a little ineffective in keeping those batteries charged up. So we wanna make sure that it's ready to go. So the client comes in, opens this door, powers off as it normally is. We installed a switch high up on the wall so it's not confused with a regular light switch. The client can come in, turn his generator on. The generator starts. And these two lights come on when the generator comes on. They're connected directly to the bus and not through that panel. This allows us to enter safely, making access to the main switch so that we can turn the power on to the facility. There is no automatic transfer switch because there is no utility power. This being a manual system, you come in, throw the switch, which feeds this panel, standard house panel, and then all of the lights, equipment, everything else in the facility comes on. Whether they're here for a day, a weekend, a week, they have power, everything they need. They get ready to leave. They come into the switch, throw the power off. You'll notice the lights here are still on so we can exit safely, not have to walk out in the dark. We come out, come over to the switch, turn the power off, exit the facility just like having utility power and a lot cheaper.